gotta hang on here. Hanging out. All right, here we go. Welcome to Metroid Fusion and welcome to an awesome adventure. My name is Milrev, aka Justin, aka your host for today. We're gonna be getting right into this and I'll be reading the story so we can get the full experience. I'd been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. Ooh, look at that. The background's so cool. And the music in this game is really cool, too. Oh, boy. That thing looks terrifying. But thankfully, Samus has some nice missiles. Let's go. Oh, no. What is that thing? That is crazy. Oh! It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. Looks like bacteria or amoeba. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Ooh, cool. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Oh, she was so close to being back. Oh, that looks so amazing. Wow. And limited technology, this game really utilizes it well. Oh man! The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to the Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then, someone found a cure. Woohoo! They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Alright, we're gonna live! Otherwise we wouldn't have much of a game left. There they go, all right, healthy as a bee. Oh, it's so cool, the suit in this game. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. Yet somehow the same. I'm blue now. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Ooh, look at that. That is the ship we're going to, guys. It's like the center seems to be part of a planet or something. Super cool. It's been many years since I played this game. I did play it a little bit earlier, but there's still so much I haven't played in a long time. Look at that purple spaceship. It's trying to show it's not her spaceship, but she had to borrow one, so she has to follow the orders of the CO. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. 
The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way to uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Now go to the quarantine bay. Don't tell me what to do. So Samus really likes being her own person. You can see her personality shining there. And look how beautiful this place is. Like, wow, the textures and everything, the details, super cool. And the suit is nice and different blue. Like, they tried to really make things different in this game. And I think they did a good job. I forget if this came out after Metroid. I think it did right after Metroid Prime for the GameCube. This one was for the Advanced. Look at that outside. Woo! Look at all the planets, looking awesome. All we have right now is the ability to jump and the ability to shoot. So that's about it. So I think we're going to the navigation bay here. Navigation room. Love the computerized look. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed. Be careful. All right, so we're gonna face our first challenge here. Obstacles to overcome in life. Alright, I think we have to go up here to find it, and now it's dark, but we have a light, kind of like in Zelda, we, or Mario, we got the circle light. Where's the light come from? Nobody knows. Okay, awesome. And we only have 99 energy, so definitely gotta be careful if we find any enemies, well! Okay, no problem whatsoever. What is that? Look at that thing. Alright, we collected it though, no problem. And we can come back out now. That wasn't too bad of a first challenge. I think this game does a good job of kind of ramping up the difficulty. So you start fairly easy, but before long it becomes pretty difficult. And also there's so many secrets, so many cool things to find. I hope you guys enjoy the journey. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic, mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You are almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. That's right, look how cool that is. Like the render is so cool. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be the infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites with a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. You must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our last chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Alright, now get going. I have released the lock to level 0 hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Alright, our first challenge. So I guess second challenge awaits. I think it'll be the first boss battle, though. We'll be what we're looking to do here so we're gonna work our way up and try to find okay there just seems to be a save here interesting try to oh okay we do are able to move through here awesome so yeah this game is super fun to play if you guys are if you do have the ability to play this definitely follow along with me and enjoy playing it and if you get stuck on anything you can just look at my playthrough because i'll edit out all the parts where i get stuck not all of them but most of them. <laughs> Alright, I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. Let's go! Missiles will help a lot. Against some enemies, your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Makes sense, D. <laughs> D for data, alright! With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Woohoo! 20%, I don't want to know what the other 80% is a chance of, but we'll just keep raising that chance of survival and won't worry too much about the other option. Okay, elevators in this game are my enemy. I think it's good to use the D-pad for elevators. I think it needs to be directly up. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. 
Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Ooh, the lore deepened, so Adam is the other CO that told her what to do just like the computer. I don't want a computer bossing me around, are you kidding? Alright, so the R room is replenish, S is save for completion's sake. I guess we can say we can go in here. I'm gonna try not to save it too much because it just kind of slows it down. I want you guys to be able to enjoy this fully. And if you are enjoying it, yeah, feel free to leave a like. That would be really awesome to help out the channel. Uh, we have a navigation room here. Oh, I don't think we need to go in here yet, but... The data room is just ahead. Yeah, he's just gonna tell us the data room is here. Okay. Let's get our data. Woo, look at this fancy machine. I love how this thing, like, woo, moves when you step on it. Just adds more to the experience. All right, we got missiles! Woohee! All right, that is great. Celebrate. Good times. We got missiles, so... We're gonna be able to blow open some doors and some enemies and stuff. And it looks like we have to go on here now. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators. What? On the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Okay. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. So bossy, but at least I got missiles. This guy's gonna help us out. Kind of interesting. We have a companion this time. That's not really a common occurrence in the Metroid games, I don't think. All right, let's go. We can destroy this abomination there. I think he did give us some missiles back, right? So awesome. And you can kind of see the wall is a little bit jagged here. We could just shoot those kinds of walls. They do give you little hints sometimes. You don't have to destroy every enemy, but we'll be doing quite a few. So awesome. And unlike Metroid Prime, you don't need the spider ball to climb up those kinds of walls. You can just kind of do it. All right, and here's our first missile tank pickup. Let's go. Awesome, missile capacity increased. I love it. Okay, and let's kind of move. Uh, oh, so on the map, you'll notice an O, and O means that there's an object in this room. So um, I was in here earlier, and it turns out that there's a missile tank here. Missile capacity increased. Yeah, you just got to watch out on your map up there for those O's and then you'll know to look in there. I think it's a really good functionality. Otherwise, how are you going to find that kind of stuff? Look at the detail here, though. I'm really enjoying this. So I think we're going to go that way. I want to check out what's up here. So this is also a save room. Yeah, they have quite a few of these, especially early on in the game. That's great. We already have 20 missiles we can carry, though. All right, open sesame. This guy we want to- oh! When he has no shine in his eyes, we want to shoot him with a missile. If he has shine, we want to get out of the way! Right on cue. Awesome. Just like that. This little eye door- this is a really unique boss. When you're trying to cover doors, it's kind of interesting. And nice- not too difficult of a challenge, but nice and easy. Alright, we got a nice energy tank here. Our capacity is increased. And our first boss of the day is Big Spiky Ball Man himself. Whoa, he turned into a... What are you, a beetle? Whoa. Oh, oh, yep. We gotta hang on here. Hanging out. Okay, I think we can just wait for him to... Oh, oh he didn't turn around fast enough. Ah. Alright, this is definitely seems to be the safest place, but he's too close. Too close. Alright, thankfully we had that energy tank, but... Still, we're going to have to be careful with our health. Ooh, buddy. All right, he is an energy ball, our ball now. Whoa. We should be able to absorb some of this for health. Nice, nice. All right, not too bad. They do take quite a bit of health, so even for the first boss, you got to be uh, have your wits up. Oh, wait, 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 I don't have any missiles. Oh, no. Can I get some missiles, please? Oh, boy. All right, I think we have to keep shooting him until we get missiles because... Yeah, the green ones are missiles. Okay. Yeah, we can't beat that without missiles. Woo! Awesome. Let's grab this gross thing. Morph ball. All right. Let's go. Can turn into a nice little package. That's perfect and convenient as well. So now we can really roll through this game. <laughs> Sorry, I might make a few puns, guys, but all in good spirits. Very nice. Yeah, this game is awesome so far. Let me know which Metroid game you guys like the most, and you might win a free heart in the comments section, so it's always that possibility. 
Awesome, and we got refilled on our missiles right there too. Let's go ahead and make our way back up here. And now we can blow open any of these rooms that have the things blocking them. Oh, this is a recharge room. Really convenient, we only had two missiles we really needed to recharge, but in case we're back here in the future, that might come in handy. Do we need to get back to the navigation room? I think we might have to. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and see what this thing wants from us. What do you want from me? Samus, it says I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. The Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use the elevator 1. Alright, so we got our objective for next time, my friends. Just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think whoever allowed the axe into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. I want to keep these episodes nice and bite-sized. I hope you guys are enjoying the beginning of this game. If you are, give it a nice like. And yeah, we are going to continue this. Just let it play on the next one going into Sector 1. Until next time, happy adventuring. God bless.